So in this video, we're going to be finishing off our profile page. If we click on new post, nothing actually happens and we've lost the functionality to actually create new posts from our profile page. So in this video, we're going to fix that. So what we're going to do is whenever you click on this button, it's going to create a modal window, which is going to pop up just like whenever you click on the comments button. And inside that, we're going to have a form that we fill out to actually create a new post. So let's get started. So you can see if I click on the comments button, the comments will appear inside of this modal window and we're going to use this for writing new posts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this modal window and I'm going to give it an ID of new post. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new function called show new post modal and we're going to copy this function that displays the actual modal window and we're going to change it from targeting the modal class to targeting new post and what we're going to do is also modify our show comments modal. We're just going to change it to comments modal and then scroll up to the top and instead of targeting the modal class because now we have two divs with the same modal class and so we don't want them to be displayed on top of each other so what we're going to do is just give this an id of comments modal and that corresponds to the id that we gave in this function so now what i'm going to do is copy this show posts modal and here is our new post button what we're going to do is just give it an on click event of show new post modal save that if we refresh and click on the comments now you can see they appear as as before now if i click on new post you can see that also appears. It just looks the same because we haven't changed the look of our modal windows. So back in the code, I'm just gonna change that to new post. Click it now, you can see it says new post at the top. If I click on a comment, it says comment. So now we have the two separate modals. And now what we wanna do is display our form. So in our code right at the top, we have this old form that we used on the profile page before we put the design in. So we're just gonna delete that and scroll down to our modal window. And what we're gonna do is just paste the form in here. So you can see here we have this modal body class and we also have it on our other window. And this is the div that gets targeted when we insert our comment data. So what I'm gonna do is just delete that class because we don't want our form to be overwritten by comments. Refresh. Now if I click on new post, we get our modal window and we get our form. If I say hello world, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just a post that we can easily see. Click on post and now if I search for it, you can see it's at the bottom of the page now. So our form's working as expected. So we do have an error with our image uploads. We're gonna fix that in another video. But at the minute, what we have is we have the ability to post back on our profile page. What we're gonna do is also modify the look of this button. And to do that, we're just going to copy the CSS of the new post button and paste it in here. So here is the button we use. We're gonna copy that, paste it in here, and just copy the CSS and the class. Now we can delete that. And we're going to paste that in here and we're just going to cut that submit button and we're going to paste it down in our footer and obviously move the form down as well that way the submit button will actually work and we'll just remove this width attribute now we're going to give it a go we're going to click on new post and you can see there's our post button now so if i say hello world from the designed profile page click post and scroll down you can see there is our post and obviously we probably don't want our latest posts to be displayed at the bottom of the page the reason it's doing that is just because at the moment we're organizing our posts based on the number of likes so you can see the posts with the most likes are at the top so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our api and the reason for that is because at the moment we're organizing our posts by likes so what we're going to do is we're going to change it to post stop posted underscore at now if we refresh you can see hello world from the design profile page is now at the top because that is the most recent post scroll down to the bottom and the oldest post is now at the bottom. Irrespective of the number of likes, that probably makes a lot more sense. Uh, another thing is whenever we create a new post, the reason we're not doing it with Ajax is because that can make things a lot more difficult when we're uploading images, which we're gonna fix soon. But uh, uploading images using Ajax would make the whole process much, much more complicated than it needs to be. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to leave it. We type in something, we click on post, it refreshes the page and it shows the new post there. Well, before we go, we're gonna fix one more thing. On your timeline, at the moment, it only displays posts from people who you're following. And what we're gonna do is just quickly modify the query so it also shows posts from your own account. So to do that, we go to the posts part of the API, which is different from profile posts. And what we do is select all the posts with the user ID equals followers dot user ID. And what we're gonna put in is or posts dot user underscore ID equals and here we're just going to put in the user ID we got from the database so in this case it's just going to be user ID and what we're going to do is just surround this and this in parentheses and then what we just need to do is update our array so we just need to copy this paste it in here again because we've used the user ID variable twice so we need to include it in our in our array twice now if I refresh you can see I have not just the post from people I'm following I also have 
the posts that I've written. So you can see there's one by Howcode, one by Francis, and I'm logged in as Francis currently. And now you can see the number of posts I have is much longer. And we just have a bug with our footer, so we're just gonna fix that really quickly as well before we go. To fix that, all we have to do is scroll up to our footer, and we'll just say style position relative. Refresh, now you can see all of our posts are displayed and our footer is down at the bottom of the page where it should be. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. If you have any questions, don't forget to email me at francis at But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.